Eswatini is a low middle income country of 1.4 million inhabitants in southern Africa. Like many developing countries, it is struggling with a high unemployment rate. Young people between the ages of 18 and 35 are the hardest hit. Half of them are struggling to find work. With a literacy rate of 94%, one would have thought that Eswatini youth are equipped for employment. But today, not even a university degree is enough to guarantee a job in this heavily saturated job market. Seventy percent of the world's uncultivated arable land is in Africa. Agriculture may well become the continent's saving grace for the hundreds of millions of unemployed youth. And why not? Africa could become the breadbasket that would feed not only its plus one billion people, but also those from other parts of the world. It's five in the morning in Hawane, 50 kilometers from Babane, the capital city of Eswatini. 32-year-old Pilile Lamini is already out working in her two-hectare field. She is preparing for a delivery of 100 cabbages to the supermarket chain Pick and Pay in the city center. She has an hour and a half to meet her delivery deadline. Like many young people in Eswatini, Pilile moved from pillar to post for 10 years trying to find work. Though she was willing to do just about anything, she still couldn't find a job. Though married to a military officer who was able to provide for his wife and their three children, Pilile longed to make money of her own. She yearned for the pleasure and pride of contributing towards the running of her household. She believed that her contribution, however small, would be able to improve her family's standard of living. So she began cultivating a small garden. Mm -hmm. 
kuna bena ngali ma, because beng tingu nda lolo kuni beng fereng gli ma la inka tere ngani la laka yuti sil, pati geng sil le sizi, gube kuna ingi gufiras kabin sugu si sarubati ngi sela boma kedwa, aha ngabati ngi sela boma kedwa na inga pona tayi, banu ya tayi, na bo es batu mi sanga ba nami nado nalo lugo zugu tayi, ngenda lo cool, kunge ni sa ima dekai. Armed with this motivation, Pilile was eager to turn this newfound hobby into a thriving business. Luckily, her husband, as well as her extended family, were very supportive. Ngantikona <laughs> In 2017, she approached her in-laws and asked to use the family land. They couldn't have been more pleased. She was given the land. Her husband also gave her 300 US dollars to buy sprinklers for irrigation. Na sini kwa njele nza ole na sito kala kwa haka kwa ke kwa hezi kwa na kuwa kaulu wake kwa kaulu wa tisasa. Za kale za bala itindu leti nga tingaya kwa za kale lo msabendi. Za tipala pas. Za buka wero ziti nga funabu mali na sende makoteshi. Za se se ati kala ke se atenda ka ngane ka ngane. Zibo tse nga jenga lo kolo kungane nga lo kolo kungane. Kwa se kwa nela kwa kutu se nga kala nvo le ngane. In 2018, a year after going big, Lila heard of the Eswatini Woman Farmer Competition while listening to one of her favorite agriculture radio shows. She had heard about the competition many times in the past, this time around, the announcement caught her attention because of the seriousness of her involvement in agriculture. Thanks to her husband's encouragement, she enrolled for the competition. The winner of the Youth Farmer of the Year competition 2018 comes from Nkaba. Winning the award has had quite an effect on Pilile. She is determined to grow her business. She has already secured a piece of land, a lot bigger than the one she presently cultivates. Pilile has also embarked on improving her knowledge of farming by attending agriculture training workshops. So 
Pinilla's venture into farming has improved the standard of living for the Lamini homestead. Today, Pinilla runs a thriving business which generates about 800 US dollars a month. No, my I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. So we are going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. We are taking a look at the information that we have been getting from the government. We are taking a look at the information that we have been getting from the government. We are taking a look at the information that we have been the Pilile's journey is one which speaks to the fact that agriculture offers huge opportunities for young people who are looking for work. Single-handedly, she has created an impact that has gone way beyond her family to the community and the local economy.